Well, hey, good morning. Chloe's sniffing around here looking for gophers. Hey, I figured out how to get the head off that drill press, and I'll, I'll show you that. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that's a drill press right there. <laughs> okay, let's see if we get this down here. Okay. Now, I'm going to take and uh, swing the base over a little bit here. And um, it'll give me room for the end of this jack and maybe have it on here. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build out a wood cradle and bolt it to the pallet jack. I'll weld some nuts on the outside and bolt these boards down. And I'll actually have some outriggers on it to keep it from tipping over. And I'll toss a bunch of metal on the bottom here. And uh, I can lower this down. Looks like six more inches. And uh, so I built this cradle and slide the head off. And uh, one of the problems is going to be is putting the head back on because it's like a precision machine. So I'm going to have to make it so I can uh, move the head slightly. I can use the pallet jack to jiggle better than a cart. You could you could do a lot with a pallet jack, but you can also get in a lot of trouble. So <laughs> I'm going to approach that with caution. I'll take the camera off and look at the head close. You never know, you might have to do this. <laughs> so the uh, object is, is to remove this uh, uh, drill press head. The drill press weighs about 6,000 pounds. And I'm guessing the head weighs maybe 1,200 pounds. It's full of gears, maybe more. I don't know. You can see the front of it. <clears throat> Here's the back of it. The back's full of gears here too, but it's heavier in the front. So I'm going to pull the uh, this hand wheel off here, and I'll be able to better rig up some wood to cradle this. But uh, like I say, you know. Uh, it, it, it's going to be hard to uh, to get this head stabbed back on because there's there's just not a whole lot of clearances. So the head has to come off to replace these uh, ball bearings that uh, ride on this uh, steel track here. And uh, right now, because the ball bearings are are gone, I had to burn them out. It's uh, the head rides on the lock. So it's supposed to uh, be up a little bit. And when you pull the uh, locking lever here, it pushes down this strip here with that mechanism there. And you can see that pin back there, kind of a cam. And it causes the head to lift up and uh, wedge on this angle so like the thrust of the drill will push it up into this angle so when you when you loosen the lock the head drops down onto these ball bearings and rolls just like super easy and right now it it moves but it's hard because it's uh, uh running on the lock pad so I don't run it back and forth. So that's why that head's got to come off. And um, <clears throat> once I get that done, then I can button up the inside of this. And all the gears, uh, I put pictures of the gears that I have uh, on some of my videos at the end. And they're just all perfect. This, this drill press is in excellent condition. But they decided to drag it outside. So that's, uh, that looks like a plan. <laughs>
<laughs> if any of you got some other ideas, you know, speak up before I end up down in the street with this thing. You know, I gotta be careful not to roll down the hill there. Oh. You know, the weather's kind of interesting. It's supposed to be sunny, but it's been more uh, thunderstorms. So, uh, I have to keep the tarp over this thing. But anyway, this is one of the things I'm working on. Chloe's just hanging out there. How you doing, sweetie? No! No! Well, she has something to say. Hey, I'll go inside for a minute. Yeah, inside here. And uh, some, some of the next videos I'm going to do uh, is uh, involved with this uh, machine here I have for sale. And uh, I'm getting some good bites on it. Somebody's going to get the best one for sale out there. And that's a fact. Okay. You know, there's so much uh, BS on the internet from... Uh, armchair experts and I have fun kind of bashing those bozos you know on, a, on that one internet forum what a bunch of clowns run off everybody with experience you know and uh, you know myself I only have 40 years experience with this particular type of machine that's not very much no okay well, we're going to really get into this. I want to look at the electronics. We're going to do the only adjustment that uh, uh, the user does. And that's top speed and uh, speed compensation. I was going to do that the other day, but I got uh, sidetracked on something. I think Chloe wanted to go to the park or something. You know, she's the boss. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Uh, um, get busy on this deal and i'm really uh kind of relieved and i don't think it's going to be a big deal to pull the head off that uh drill press okay that'll be a great video huh okay now you guys have a good day and uh take care of yourselves okay bye-bye